Hey everybody, so in this stack of boxes next to me is my brand new Essex and AP Racing Big Break Kit for my new M2 competition. Now I will be doing an installation video on that later, but before that I wanted to kind of give you guys an up close uh, overview of this brake kit, um, you know, what it comes with uh, and some of the cool features that really drew me towards it. So let's have a closer look. So let's start with the caliper itself. So this is the 9668 caliper and you can see that uh, it looks absolutely massive. It's a six piston design and even though the overall dimensions are pretty large, you can see that AP Racing has actually done a lot to remove weight from this unit. And, and you know, I'm holding this with one hand, no problem. It doesn't really feel heavy because this caliper assembly is only 6.9 pounds. Um, compare that to the uh, OE Brembo six piston caliper that came stock on my M2 competition. That's a uh, like 10.7 pounds. So you have almost a four pound weight saving just in the caliper alone. You can see there's a lot of skeletonization done to it, right? And you can also see where uh, material has been machined out to uh, save weight on this guy. Now the 9668 is uh, the larger of the two that they offer from, for my platform. And they offer this caliper for a lot of different platforms, you know, Porsches, Camaros, etc. Um, one of the cool things that they do is they have a template uh, on their website that you can download and then, you know, just like in kindergarten, cut along the dotted lines. And what you do is you just follow the instructions on here. It says drop this section into the wheel well center hole. So you put that in the uh, center of your wheel. And if nothing else over here contacts the wheel well, you know that the larger 9668 caliper will fit. Uh, for the M2 in particular, they have a slimmer caliper, 9660, um, which uh, weighs even less. But the downside is, is it can't take quite as large pads. So really the difference is just, you know, the distance between these two halves of the caliper is less on the 9660, but it can also clear more wheels. Now, one of my biggest pet peeves with the stock front calipers on the M2 competition is that it has a fixed bridge. And what that means is you have to remove the caliper from the knuckle in order to change pads. So when you go to the track, this is a huge uh, hindrance in my opinion, because if I come off the track and it's the end of the day, well, I have to wait, you know, 30, 40 minutes for the caliper to cool down before I can pull it off, swap my pads in to start driving back home. Um, on my wagon and with this uh, uh, AP racing caliper, uh, it does not have a fixed bridge. And so what we can do is we can remove these two bolts take out this upper bridge part and then the pads can just slide out of the top so you don't have to remove the caliper from the knuckle. And speaking of uh, pad retention or quick change uh, methods, uh, one of the really cool things about this 9668 caliper um, that uh, you know the BMW stock ones don't have and even the 9660 doesn't have is you can opt instead of using um, you know this uh, metal bridge piece and the two bolts they give you this actually wire clip which uh, you screw back here and then if you pinch these together you can see how it goes together like that and then this wire clip will actually hold the pads in there so if you're you know doing something more than just HPDEs like an actual endurance race where time matters you know and pit changes and all that well then you can just pinch these guys open this pop the old pads out pop the new ones in and then re-secure it again with the clip and this caliper comes stock with this option as well so it's not an extra add-on you have to pay any extra for and speaking of other pad retention options, um, AP Racing Essex also sells this uh, uh, spring-loaded bridge piece here. So if you're going to be driving your car on the street, like I will partially, right, it's gonna be my track and street car, well, you don't want your pads to be knocking around, making clunking noises all the time. So this spring-loaded bridge piece can go here and you know, obviously the springs uh, apply pressure to the pads. Some other neat things about this caliper, um, you can see that you know, it's got full stainless steel uh, pistons and uh, little grooves cut out on them as well. And if you look inside of the uh, brake fluid hole here, you can see a coil spring in there. And what that is, is that is a spring on the back side of this piston. And what these springs do is they apply a little bit of force pushing the pistons out so that you don't have issues with knockback. So what knockback is, is your pads can sometimes get pushed out and then, you know, 
because there's no brake pressure being applied, they don't return to the rotor surface. So when you step on the brake pedal, well, you have no resistance since the pads are not actually up against the brake rotor. And it can be a little bit unnerving because it feels like, oh, my pedal just dropped and I didn't get any stopping power. So that spring that you saw coiled in back here um, will keep the pads pressed up against the, uh, the rotor um, in, in all conditions. So here is one of the rotors from the kit and uh, as you can see there are the signature AP Racing uh, J-hook slots cut into it and from all the hardware and the slots you can see that this is a full floating design and what that full floating design does is it allows this iron ring to expand when it gets really hot from all the braking and, uh, uh, not, and not be under as much stress as if uh, this was riveted or more securely attached to the hat which isn't going to expand as much because you know this is iron and the hats are typically aluminum, this one is aluminum, um, uh, for, for better weight. If we look at the rotor from this angle you can see all of the different uh, slots there are on it and uh, what those are, are those are basically little fan blades. If you've ever seen a blower type motor um, fan, well that's essentially what this brake rotor has inside of it. So as it spins these uh, little veins here, they catch the air from the inside and force it out the outside of the rotor, forcing airflow in there to cool this assembly down. Um, this one I believe has about 72. Uh, a lot of other designs only have about 30, 35-ish. And just like the calipers, these rotors are also lighter than the stock M2 competition rotors. One of the interesting things about these rotors is they all come with a uh, protective like oil coating on it so that the rotor doesn't rust while in storage. And uh, AP Racing says actually, you know, just take some soapy water uh, or detergent solution and actually wash your rotors down before you install and use them. So another item that uh, Essex and AP Racing's kits come with are these uh, Spiegler brake lines. And so this is a stainless steel braided line uh, that also has an outer coating on it uh, so that you know nothing can get in the braids. Um, but what's interesting about these is this fitting at the end can rotate three, three, uh, 360 degrees. Now you can't do it by hand, but they supply this hardware and there are these two blue blocks and what you do is you clamp this part of the uh, brake line in a vise and then you use this plastic uh, dowel that's included to rotate this uh, in any orientation you want. So uh, it's nice because you can set your brake lines up so that they don't have any bind at all when they're on the car. Next we have the caliper mounting bracket. You can see uh, once again there's been a fair amount of weight savings done here. A lot of the material has been milled out or skeletonized uh, so that there's no excess weight. And then that gets mounted with these nice beefy bolts um, that are also that are grade 10.9 so very strong. And then um, AP Racing also includes a little uh, vial of uh, Loctite 271 uh, colloquially known as Loctite Red. Lastly, if you choose, for 250, um, you can also add a pair of Ferodo uh, brake pads to your kit. And that's 250 for any of the pads. So if you go for one of the more expensive pads, like the DS 3.12s, well, that's actually quite a deal you're getting there. So that's a quick look at the Essex AP Racing Big Brake Kit. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting these on the car, saving a little bit of weight front and rear, uh, and uh, being able to quick change the pads in the front like I do on my wagon now at the track. Um, you know, I don't know why BMW decided to go with a fixed ridge caliper, probably because it was already in their supply chain and it was just easier to use something they already had versus you know something that would actually be more desirable. But you know, cars are built to a uh, uh, price these days. So anyways, I will see you next time for the installation video of this guy.